All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I go any further, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful, elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp, Kabad Yasharala page, coming back with a quick video through the power of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemia Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and um, just uh, getting into this quick uh, video through the power of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemia um, uh, the priest on Y here at uh, the priest on Y here at uh, GMS. Uh, South Carolina Midlands Camp sent out a, a heavy article today, and I'm sure that this article probably through the spirit has circulated around Israel, and I'm about to put it on the screen. And I'm just going to go through some scriptures uh, through the spirit, man, because it all leads to our people have trusted in Esau, the goddamn enemy. All right. Our people have not listened and, and are not listening to the prophets of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, beginning with our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone and the men with 100 percent truth, man. All right. Our people are, are, are pretty much naive to the truth, man. And they and as the scriptures say, they rather hear lies, man. All right. So um, as we can see, man, the screen just cut off. So we're just going to get right into it right here. Here's the article. It says that the Vic 19 is surging again in Europe, thanks to the Ba 2 subvariant. And uh, also the priest made a, a, a very interesting fact. Now, here it is. Uh, Esau is using the word Ba. And as we know, that that's 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 Hebrew, man. All right, that's ancient Paleo Hebrew, man. The word Ba, man. All right, so this devil ain't slick, man. This devil is not slick, man. All right, now it says, um, uh, thanks to the Ba two subvariant, and is likely to spread to the where to the U.S. soon. You see this? Now, this is concerning a uh, uh, the so-called. People were under the, the belief that it was such a, a endemic, man. All right. And, and Esau just knows how to play on the psyche of you, of, of, of the simple, man. All right. This matter of fact, with that being said, let me let me get a real quick scripture before I jump into the lesson. Uh, this is um, so, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter one, verse 22. And it says. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? All right, because how long? That's why the scripture say in uh, uh, Isaiah 1 and 4, roughly paraphrasing, I'm going to get that too, put it on the screen, that, you know, our people will revolt more and more, man, to doing wickedness, man. All right, now let me go back to um, uh, uh, um, Proverbs 1 and 22. It says, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? All right, because we're in the age of information, all right? We're in the age of the truth, man. All right. When everything that you really realistically want to know is really at a, a push of a button away, man. But our people rather uh, love simplicity, man. Love folly of this world, man. Love to, to, to pretty much be in a mind frame of confusion, man. They love Babylon, man. This is why Bab Babylon means confusion, man. Our people love confusion, man. Instead of loving what is right. And hating what is wrong, you know, right and wrong. Our people want to be in that gray area, man, and so called in the middle, middle, and love confusion. That's why the scriptures say, "How long, ye simple ones, will love simplicity?" And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All right, getting into uh the, the, the scorn, the scornful ones, man. All right, the ones that that that, that, that they can't receive it. All right, they can't see it. That the Lord pretty much has blocked their eyes and their ears. And so what do they become? They become reprobates and then they want to become scoffers. All right. And then they want to then they want to pretty much that misery loves company, man. They're in that miserable state of mind for them. And so what they want to pull people down, man. And the scripture says, and fools hate knowledge because of the simplicity of our people. And instead of because uh, hey, through the spirit, we give our people things that make sense, man. Straight, straightforward, straightforward facts where you can get it, man, where you can understand. It. And then furthermore, hey, we, we stress about. Apostles and our elders been stressing about looking up words, doing your own research, man. All right. And, and, and all lines will lead to the truth. But fools hate knowledge, man. All right. And going back into they, they don't fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. 
All right, because that's the beginning of knowledge, man. When you go straight up on this verse 7, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. Because you're supposed to fear the Lord, man. Most of our people under that uh, 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 Christianity uh, doctrine of, oh, the Lord just loves everybody. He loves everything. The Lord forgives everything. You, all you got to do is say, oh, forgive me, Lord. All right. You could be a damn funny bunny. You can be a goddamn uh, 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 a child uh, um, kidnapper and, and all that stuff. And all you can say is forgive me, Lord, and all is forgiven. And without doing any type of works towards it, all you got to do is say, oh, oh, damn, Lord, I just... I committed adultery, forgive me. And then the Lord just, okay. No, that's not how it works, man. All right, but see, that's why it says, but fools despise wisdom and instructions, man. Because when you become wise, you understand it. it's about renewing your mind, man. And, and instructions, what? Instructing you to be in what? That repentful state of mind, man. All right, seeking the Lord, Yahweh Bashamal, uh, adamantly seeking forgiveness, man. All right, uh, uh, being on your works, man. All right, because, hey, if... if if all you had to say was, oh, Lord, forgive me, people would just be continuing doing wickedness every day, man. But see, that that's where that fear kicks in because the Lord could have been uh, jacked a, a, a lot of us up, man. Got rid of a lot of us, man. This is why sincere men are always in that repentful state of mind, man. Always in that mind frame of, of not feeling like we're doing enough, man. Always on that mind frame of, 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 of a, any given second, man, the Lord can fuck me up, man. This is that, That's where that fear is supposed to kick in. But most of our people... Or in that, or in that simplicity state of mind, just walking around all oh, fa la 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 la, everything's good, and oh, the Lord loves me, the Lord forgives me, the Lord knows my heart, and the Lord does know your heart, man, because the scriptures tell you what the heart is deceitfully wicked, man. So the Lord mo knows that ma majority of the uh, two thirds of our people and their hearts and their minds, going back to their minds, is desperately wicked, man. Real quick, let's get that real quick for edification's sake. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, uh, verse. Nine, I believe it says the heart is deceitfully, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it, man? All right. Because, hey, Yahweh Bashim al he knows our minds, man. He made our minds, man. All right. So, hey, your mind going back to your laha, which is your heart, is desperately, is, uh, 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 is deceitful, man, above all things, man. Because your mind will tell you, hey, this is right. And this is wrong, man. All right. Like, like the scripture say, our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no understanding, man. All right. That goes back into their deceitful ass mind, man. All right. And, and, and the scripture is desperately wicked, man. All right. Because you're searching for all this, this shit in your head, man. All right. A so-called heart. You, you're looking for the fulfillment of your heart. And then your, your mind just desperately clings to wickedness instead of clinging to righteous things, man. This is why you have to renew your mind, man. All right, this is that that's that true baptism, man. When you when you start, it starts all in your mind first and foremost, man. All right, but most of our people, what do they choose to do with their minds, man? They don't choose to seek the Lord ten times more. They choose to follow after Esau. Anything Esau tells them or, or the narrative that Esau pushes, that's what our people uh, uh, prescribe to. That's what they believe. That's what they hold fast to. Not holding fast to these scriptures. Not holding fast to the truth, man. All right? They hold fast to, to, to lies, man. All right? Just straight up lies, man. Shit that doesn't make sense, man. All right? Now, um... Uh, um... Real quick, uh... Let me see, uh... Uh, Shalaki, give me one second. Give me one second, Shalaki. Let me find something right quick. All right. Um. All right. Give me one second, Shalaki brothers and sisters. All right, because I'm going to jump back to that article. All right, and then I'm going to get into um. Then I'm going to get into the um a few scriptures that I had lined up. All right. So uh, let's get let's get into that article right quick. Let me see something. I'll jump back to the article right quick. Uh, Shalaki brothers and sisters. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, when we get back to this article real quick, it says that, of course, that that that, that the Vic is surgeon again, right? And that's all according to uh to so-called Esau's narrative. And what are people going to do? They're going to trust Esau's narrative. All right. Now, what the scriptures tell us about about our enemy, about Esau and his and, and just pretty, pretty much about Esau. Let's get Sirach chapter uh, 12, verse 10 and get straight to the point, man. 
all right because contrary to the popularity of you people beliefs man esau is your god dog on enemy man all right the nation of edom does not like you uh israelites man all right at all man all right they see they, they know who they are man edom knows who they are and they have that perpetual hatred of pursuing the ezekiel 35 and 5 all right towards you people man all right real quick ezekiel 35 and 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their inequity had an end all right now scripture said because thou has had a perpetual hatred towards the children of israel by the force of the sword now who was the sword the blessing of the sword given to man it was given to esau man so that's a hint number one who your damn enemy is man but the scripture said they have a perpetual hatred and has shed the innocent blood man all right going into our people being what uh rape sex slaves gator bait uh, uh goyo cattle whatever this damn devil want to do with you he did with you man even to this day whatever this devil is choosing to do with you because he had our people under the hypnotism of his witchcraft man from his from his television to his music to his media pretty much man he's controlling uh, uh the, the negro latinos and native americas uh through his media man all right because that the government which in which is esau the elite just simply means to govern govern your mentality and look at the mentality of the people man their mentality is to trust in the god dog on devil instead of trusting in yahweh bashim Shai. now when we get to uh, sarak 12 and 10 it says never trust thine enemy for like as ron iron rust of this so is his wickedness all right so the scriptures start off say never trust thine enemy man so our people have no business trusting in this damn devil man trusting in this damn devil's narrative trusting in this devil's uh politicians trusting in this devil's uh uh, uh positions trusting in this, in this devil's uh laws and legislations that he that he's passing because all of that is set up to what to destroy the negro latino and native american man this devil has never done anything that's beneficial for you man all right and, and as apostles and elders been stating lately through the spirit even when the nation of israel tried to uh, uh separate themselves from this devil starting their own community starting their own schools starting their own banks whatever the case may be you know the black wall streets and stuff of that nature what did the devil always do he always came over there and been the damn devil blew your shit up bomb your shit tore your shit up man all right the devil always came and wreaked havoc on you man to me that sounds like terrorism man all right so this is the real damn terrorist right here this damn devil esau man once again all fingers pointing to your damn enemy because when you go this is why this devil is trying to take the shit out of history man because when you go back and you look at history who was causing all this shit upon the negro latino and native americans man so-called esau the damn devil the damn white man man all right these the nation of edom man they're still here to this day man all right now it says uh never trust thine enemy sirach uh ecclesiasticus 12 and 10 never trust thine enemy for like for like as iron rust of so of his wickedness though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed and beware of him and though sh and, and, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust has not altogether wiped away see so this devil though he tries to come and crouch up and humble itself and be like, oh, we're gonna be one nation. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna all work together. Oh, this is a democratic uh, 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 economy. All right, when, when pretty much that Democrat and that Republican shit has nothing to do with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All that Democrat shit is 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 a, is a is a pacifier to give you the the illusion that this devil. Is really uh working on your damn side man whenever the democrats and republicans man they're all in the goddamn same uh, uh bed together man because when you go at the senate when you go in the senate who's sitting in there man hey the democrats and the republicans and and either most nine times out of ten the republicans are always in control of the house of the damn senate man but yet you have democrats sitting in there in agreement with laws and legislations that's being pushed man all right that you niggas know nothing about man it's just all uh, an illusion to make you feel as if you have a position of power, man, or as, as if your vote and all that bullshit matters and makes sense, man. When this devil already has an agenda that he's already going to push, man, all right? His his whole 
uh, thing is to, to 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 make you niggas feel comfortable, man. The scriptures say, though he crouches and humbles himself, man, because that's what the devil does. He crouches and he humbles himself, but secretly, as we're going to get that scripture, what is he uh, looking to do? He's hoping to God dog going to devour you, man. All right. Now the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy, for like if iron rusted, so of his damn wickedness, man. All right. Now we're going to get real quick. Who, who you're supposed to be trusting in because we're just going through the spirit right quick. So this is Psalms 118 and 8, and it reads, It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, than to put confidence in man. Because most of our people, the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, they have their trust in this damn devil. They have their trust in this economy. They have their trust in this system. They trusted that this was a so-called endemic. And as we can see what's going on in Europe right now, it's going to be a so-called surge. And guess what's going to be next? That surge is going to be coming here to the doggone soils of so-called uh, 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 America, a.k.a. Babylon. Man, It only makes sense, man. It only makes sense, right? Because all you niggas is comfortable. All you niggas are so-called up on you. Ukraine. Like, you got your average Jake talking about war and all of a sudden. And all of a sudden... The Vic took up a back seat, but this is the how the devil operates, man. Now he's gonna hit you, hit you niggas over the head like like Vonage, man, with this damn bit with this Vic again, man, and catch you people all, all off guard because right now it is it, is uh cyber attacks that's about to be taking place, man. Inflation is going on, but Jake is still riding around doing whatever the fuck they want to do, man. Being in straight folly, man. Hell, I just pulled up at this gas station to make this video, and gas is at 430, man. Pretty much 429 for regular gas, man. All right, so you know it's going to shoot up to five freaking dollars soon, man. All right, now Psalms 118 and, and well beyond five dollars, but I'm just I'm just throwing that out there, man. But Psalms 118 and eight, it is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai than to put confidence in princesses, man. All right, and pretty much the government of this society, man. Which in all our people have their trust in, man. And the government, the physicians of no value. All these things that are so-called uh, uh, beneficial and vital for the betterment of so-called mankind. This is what our people put their trust in. They don't seek the Heavenly Father, man. They're not seeking that right counsel, man. All right? They're not seeking that good counsel, man. All right? That that truly makes sense, man. They're not seeking the wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, because they're choosing to what? Trust this damn devil, man. All right? Now... Let's get uh real quick. First Peter. We're gonna we're gonna cause this devil would say he crouches himself like a damn lion, right? This is first Peter chapter five, verse eight, and it reads, Be sober, be vigilant. All right, be sober, be vigilant. Have your mind sober, man. Don't get drunk off of all the damn philosophies of this damn world, man, and the ways of this world, man. Because all the ways of this world are gonna lead to the damn leads to the death, man. All the ways of this world are a transgressions uh, against the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man, against uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the ways of this world pretty much uh, uh, advise you to transgress the laws that was for you, man, that are for us, man, all right? Now, it says, be sober, be vigilant, all right? And that don't mean get guns and be armed, no, that means be vigilant in your mind, man, knowing what you stand for, man, all right? Knowing that, hey, if Esau say, man, go, you, you got to take this MOTB, hey, Esau, you know what? Go fuck yourself, man. When Esau tried to uh, 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 give everybody the hokey pokey, man. Hey, nah, man. Sincere, uh, uh, vigilant ones that stood bold for you. How about your mouth shot? Esau, you go poke yourself in the ass with that damn poison, man. All right? Now, be vigilant because your adversary, once again, that means you have an enemy, man. You have an enemy, nation of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We have a goddamn enemy, and that enemy is Edom Esau, man. Ezekiel 35 and 5, the one that has a perpetual hatred towards you, man. All right? Your enemy, all right, your adversary, the devil, 1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he can devour. You see that? This devil likes to walk around and try to crouch, crouch and humble himself as if he's on your side. But secretly, man, what is he, what is he doing, man? He's seeking to damn devour you, man, destroy you, man, to turn you against your power, your how about your how shy, man. All right, this devil is, is seeking to destroy you, man. All right, hold on one second. Let me crack this window real quick. All right, come on. Shalaki. All right, now it says this devil is seeking to destroy you, man. All right, being that this devil, he, he knows who you are, man. All right, this devil hates you, man. He hates the children of Israel, man. 
All right, this, this is this devil's whole mo, man. To try to keep you disconnected from your power, man. Keep keep us disconnected from our power, man. All right, but hey, it's not working, so it's not going to work, man. Because the Lord said if it, if it were possible, hey, you you would deceive the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, this is what hey, pursuing in Revelation 12 and 12. This devil knows that his time is short, man. So this is a part of him trying to come down with that great wrath, man. No, hey, this is why he's going. This is why that that second shutdown is about to come, man. This is why you're going to start seeing. Uh, so-called the new variant this surge all of a sudden man because the devil knows that he's at the end and he's already he's already known and he already got the people to comply when he came out with the hokey pokey the first time all right he got the people to comply and and, and tune in and, and totally forget about the the, the, the vic 19 all right and, and, and now all of a sudden they're, they're, they're in that state of comfortability all right they're, they're hearing the, the rumors of war but they're not um they're not taking it uh seriously all right and, and, and all type of other things, man. All right, but see, this is a part of a hey, this devil's trickery, man. All right, because he he's he's seeking to devour you, man, to destroy you. Why you got your damn? Why you not even paying attention, man? All right, now let's get into some more characteristics of this damn devil with his lying tongue and and and, and, and trying to humble himself, man. Look look what and, and, and so we can see what his real purpose is, man. All right, now this is uh, let's get uh, Psalms real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Uh, chapter uh, 10 and we're going to start at verse 2 and read on down to uh, verse 11 now it says the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor man now who's that wicked man that wicked is Esau right there man all right this is wicked man because who's the poor the poor is the, the hey we just not read in Ezekiel 35 and 5 he shed the innocent blood man all right and that's the, that's the Israelites man the poor man all right because you Negroes Latinos and Native Americans we don't own shit here man all right, we don't we we can't serve our, our, our we, we like we can't even uh worship our true power man here without Esau trying to god dog on intervene man all right trying to distract us man and 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 that's all the spirit of the Lord because the Lord says the election will obtain it but the rest will be blinded man all right and they're going to be blinded by by the, by the power of this world man by the god of this world that scriptures tell us in uh 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 second uh, Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 man all right and we got that one lined up as well too so, um, continuing on, it says, The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. All right? For the wicked boast them in his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetousness whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked, through the, through the pride of his continence, will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Okay? So, these Edomites, these elites, man. Hey, the Most High is, is not in these niggas' thoughts, man, whenever they're trying to wreak havoc on the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because here it is, they know that we're the apple of the Lord's eye. They, they know that we're the Lord's children, man. But see, these these devils have been, as the scriptures say, though uh, the judgment hasn't been executed expediently, hey, pretty much these damn devils think that they can get away with it or think they're getting away with it. But see, they, they know that the Most High exists, man, and, and, and they know... As the scriptures say, they know that the Most High exists and they tremble, man. These devils know what time it is, man. They they see the uprise of the people, man, uh, uh, of the truth, of the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. They know that this knowledge, as the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 13, they know, hey, this, it done went up to the gates of the nobles, man. They see brothers, man. They see the camps popping up, man. They see the, the, the apostles and the elders, the one with the sincere, sincere 100% truth, man. All right? They see the internet videos, man. They see us not giving them no rest, man. All right? So, hey, man. Hey, so th so this devil might think that hey the Most High ain't ain't, ain't, ain't taking a, a a tally of of their wickedness, man. But the, but the Most High is, man. See that's the pride of the devil, man. Once again, it says hey, the Most High ain't even in their thoughts, man. Because why is that? Because this devil has said in his heart that he is the Most High, man. And we're gonna get that too in our uh, Second Thessalonians, man. All right. Now this is it says um the wicked though in his in his pride. Of his continents will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. All right. Hey, that's Esau. Uh, like he's the damn, like he's the damn, like, like the big, like the big bully on the block, man. All right. When Most High had, when the Most High had to set his punk ass up uh, uh, anyway, man, pursuing what Daniel's 4 and 17, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, the Most High, hey, he gave the kingdom of who he, and he gave it to Esau, weak ass man, the basis of all man. All right, but uh, this devil puffed up as if he, as if he got them conquered the world through through true uh, uh, dominion, man. This devil is fucking weak, spineless ass coward, man, crooked man, can't even stand up straight, man. 
All right. Now it says um, Psalms 10 and 6 for, ha, for he has said in his heart, I shall I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. See, this devil think that he's going to be uh, be able to uh, 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 manipulate the minds of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans that we're not going to look at him as as if he's our adversary, man. All right. As he as if he's not the damn uh, the adversity in the goddamn earth, man. It's his 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 weak ass, man. All right, your damn enemy, man. All right, and it says uh, Psalms ten and seven. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Now, who's that? That a hey, no brainer. We know who that is. Who 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 mouth is always full of cursing, deceit, and fraud? This damn devil, man. Because the devil will promise you what forty acres in a mule. Promise you that all men was created equal. Promise you that uh that you was gonna get your 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 reparations and your right your rights and all that other stuff, all that other madness. But what his mouth is what his heart, his mind. And all that good stuff is 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 uh full of what, cursing, deceit, and fraud, man. Everything that come out this devil's mouth is absolute lies, man. All right. Hey, the scriptures tell you that, man. The, the wicked go estranged from the womb. As soon as he be born, he come out speaking lies, man. That, that, that's all this devil knows how to lie, man. All right, how to rob and deceit, man. This is that, that's why we call him the, the, the devil, man, which means uh, deceiver, man. All right. Now it says uh, Psalms ten and seven. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking place of the villages. In secret places doth he murder the poor. I mean, in secret places doth he murder the innocent. You see that? Murdering the innocent, man. Shedding the, the innocent blood of the children of Israel. Once again, pursuing Ezekiel 35, man. And 5 and 5. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Who's the poor? His eyes are privately set against the Negro, Latino, and Native American, the Israelites, man. All right, it said he set up in the lurking places of the village, man. Well, didn't we just read it first? Uh, Peter five and eight. He 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 crouched though he crouched himself like a, a lion. Uh, uh, that was in uh, Sirach, I mean, he crouched man. He tried to humble himself like a lion, man. All right, and it, but it says your devil, your, your adversary, the devil, uh, seeking whom he can devour, man. This is what this devil, it, it, like like scripture just not read. His eyes are privily Set against the poor. Let's continue on. Verse 9. He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth to wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he draw from him with his, with his net. He croucheth himself. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. You see that? There's that devil, man. Your damn enemy, man. All right, trying to crouch and humble himself, but what is he seeking to do? Seeking to damn devour you, man. Seeking to destroy you because what? The scriptures say he got mischief and 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 vanity and fraud all in his damn mouth, man. That's all in his mind, man. This is what this devil is programmed to do, man. And then look what this devil says, Psalms uh, ten and eleven. He hath said in his heart, Yahweh has forgotten. He ha he hideth his face. He will never see it. And that goes back to the pride of this damn devil. See, because this devil thinks that, you know what? I'm destroying the Negro, Latino, and Native American with this, with the, with the ABC community, with the music, with the movies. And, and he thinks that the Lord isn't seeing this, man. But how is the Lord seeing this, man? The Lord is seeing this with, with his host of angels. First and foremost, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So the Lord is already seeing it. But now the Lord is seeing it. Through his prophets, man, through it, through the elders and apostles, and I brought us out with those prophets, man. So we see that, 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 and we're seeing, and we're calling out all the mischief and all the hell that this devil is trying to uh, impose on the Lord's uh, people, man. So and, and linking it up with the scriptures. So if we're seeing it. I brought us out with those men. Hey, you know the Lord is seeing it, man, because the Lord has set us up to be these prophets, man. The scriptures tell you that the Lord said He revealed of all things. Uh, he revealed of His secrets through the service of the prophets, pursuing the, uh, Amos uh, uh, three and uh, seven. Matter of fact, let's get that for edification's sake. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, thy power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So if they, we're the Lord's prophets, I brought his eye. Hey, we're seeing these things, man. All right. And, and what are we doing, man? We're making these things public, man. All right. We're out here on the highways and byways, hey, blowing that, uh, that, that trumpet, man. All right. Giving our people. That morning, doing what we commanded to do, man. Because hey, when all hell break loose, and whenever, uh, uh, whenever the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai makes His return, it's not going to be any excuses, man. All right, because the Lord has us out here on the highways and byways, beginning with the apostles and the elders here at Great Millstone, giving the people the 100% truth, man. All right, now let's get real quick uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two and three, because what this devil thought once again 
It says your enemy crouched me humble in himself, man. But he didn't think that he was going to be exposed, man. All right. But the Lord has been exposing his damn red ass. And, and with that exposure, man, Esau can't take that spotlight off of him, man. All eyes is on Esau, man. All eyes is on you. And we're going to keep goddamn, and, and scripture say, he that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent, man. Until Jerusalem is made a praise in this earth, man. All right. Now, this is the book of um, Shalaki, 2 Thessalonians. Shalaki, 2 Thessalonians chapter uh two starting at uh verse three and it says let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except except there come a falling away first and the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition all right now that's man of sin all right it's, it's talking about esau man the son of perdition man the one that have perpetual hatred towards you negro latinos and native americans man all right so now now they're going to get into what the son of perdition characteristics are like, man. All right? Because look, the son of perdition, all right? The man of sin, all right? It says, who oppose him and exhort him himself above all that is called power or that is worship, so that he, as Yahweh, sit up in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh. Now, who does that, man? Look at your dollar bill, man. All right? And God, we trust, but you got this damn George Washington, this damn devil on the damn bill. All right, you got all these damn uh, uh, so-called temples in Washington, D.C. with this damn devil sitting on a chair, sitting on thrones. And when you look at America, uh, the most uh, uh, so-called iconic symbol is what? The Statue of Liberty, man. All right. And, and it's always this damn white devil that opposed. And when you look at Mount Rushmore, man. All right. The uh, the, the, the elder, uh, uh, the elder in, in Dallas. All right. All right. They, they, they made a, uh, the remnant say 144. All right. Elder uh, Yashua, uh, Elder Yashawamba, came out with a, a video, and um, pretty much going into that Mount Rushmore, um, that that Mount Rushmore statue, and, and getting into the characteristics of these damn devils, man. All right, the things that they, they got, even though they got this damn statue of Mount Rushmore uh, up and, and chiseled, and, and, and they erected that bullshit ass statue, man. Those are all four goddamn devils on that damn statue, man. All right, four people that did what? further oppress the negro latino and native american man all right and, and pretty much they, they fit this scripture right here they fit this bill because what are they doing they they, they exhorting and they and they showing themselves as if they're the most high man all right now it says um once again second thessalonians 2 and 4 it says who, who opposed him and exalt himself above all that is called power and that is worship all right so that he as yahweh sit up in the temple of yahweh showing himself that he is yahweh Going back into that's the son of perdition, man. The son of sin, Esau, the goddamn devil, your enemy, man. All right, he has our people under the the, the hypnotism and under the illusion that they need to trust in him, that that what he says is a hundred percent correct. Because our people, hey, they 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 hate us, man. The scriptures say, it. but see, that's the, the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shai gave us this blueprint back in the, uh, 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 in, the, in the scriptures, man. Say, so it, it, surely if they hated you, just know they hated me first. So. Hey, the same way they was hating on Yahweh Shah when he was on the scene trying to give people the truth and trying to get people to uh, uh, repent, you know, and, and, and just give them the truth, man. What? They was hating on Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So how much more us, man? All right. But, hey, that's how you know that we're in the right, that we're in the right job, man. We're in the right arena because, hey, they love uh, your local pastors. They love all these televangelists, man. Because why? They're telling you lies, man. All right. They're not doing anything to uh to be a, a solution to the problem, man. They're further aiding in the problem of this place, man. All right? For, pretty much being in the bed with Esau, man. You got them enemy, man. All right? Now, um, let's get real quick. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Because this is uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Because it tells you, man, about what? Uh, uh, it not being ignorant to Satan devices, man. All right, his tele, his his um his social media or his media period, man. All right, don't be ignorant to it, man, because this devil has given our people the illusion of the oh the endemic, all is all peace and safety, man. When the scriptures say when they, hey, amen, when peace. Matter of fact, hold let me hold this right quick. Let me get this right quick since I said that it's the book of First Thessalonians. All right, because our people are under the illusion of peace and safety right now, man. Even though we're in the midst of all hell going on, you got Jake still out here partying it up, living it up, getting ready for weddings, talking about how it's such beautiful, wed uh, uh, beautiful weather, and they're not paying attention to the times, man. 
All right, and uh, uh, and here it is when in, in the rumors of war, but Jake don't give a damn about that. Jake just want to be. I just want to live my life. I just want to live my life, man. News play. This ain't your goddamn life, man. All right. All these bodies belong to you. How about Shimmy? How was man? All right. And we're supposed to be. We have a calling that we're supposed to be doing, man. Now, granted, a two thirds of our people are are in, in cahoots with the wicked right now, and it's set up to be two thirds. That's just is what it is, man. All right. But if you have an ear to hear, as the scriptures say, hear, man. If you got eyes to see, then you need to see, man. This ain't the time. To be putting on sunshades trying to block out the light of the Lord. Yahweh by Shema was shy. This ain't the time to be putting God dog on uh, uh, um, uh, earbuds in your ear trying to drown out the sound of the Lord, man. Because that's going to lead you to the, the goddamn destruction. All right. Now, this is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman, a woman with child. And they shall not escape, all right? Because realistically, man, they're screaming peace and safety, the endemic, and that's a damn lie, man. All right? We just read this article about what's going to what's going to be heading this way towards uh to, to Babylon, man. All right? And then as it says, as a woman travaileth, man, meaning that a woman going through them contractions, man. All right? Hey, because this place is about ready to pop, man. And and these, and, these, and and with these rumors of war, and when it's these are all these contractions that are going on in this place, man. All right? That that our people aren't 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 setting their minds uh, for man. All right, they're not looking for this place to pop and destroy man. But a hopeful, humble, fearful elect man, we're looking for the downfall of this place and the new kingdom to come man. Because this place is is terrible man. Everything here is terrible man. From the air to the food to the women, everything man. You you name it, it's all fucking terrible man. Only good thing in this in this world right now is the fact that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al has 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 uh, given us that light, man. All right, has given us that truth, man. All right, and that's the only good thing in this earth right now, man. This knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding, man. As the scripture Isaiah thirty three and six, man, a hey, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, man. All right, this is the only thing that's keeping brothers stable, man. Keeping us in in, in a functional state of mind, man. Because if we didn't have this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom, this understanding. Hey, we'd be all fucking dysfunctional like the rest of these people out here, man. It's total chaos, man. All right, now let's get back to um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan, all right, your damn enemy, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. This is why you have the, the apostles and the elders, the prophets on the highways and byways, because we're not ignorant of this damn devil saying peace and safety, man. And all, oh, everything's going to be all right. And all, oh, we're going to all work together. And all, oh, we're going to all get along, man. Hey, man, the true men of the Lord, we're not ignorant of Satan devices of, of secretly trying to destroy you. We just read all those scriptures from, from Psalms chapter 10, 1 Peter 5, and, 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 and Ecclesiasticus in Apocrypha 12 and 10 about your damn enemy, man, and how he's going to try to humble and crouch him himself, man. But secretly, he's doing what? Trying to goddamn destroy you, man. Because going back to Ezekiel, he has that perpetual hatred towards you, man. All right? So it says, lest Satan should should take advantage of you. We are not ignorant of his devices, man. All right? And he's all going to be destroyed in these devices of his damn self, man. All right? And he's trying to set up against the Lord's chosen people, man. All right? Now, well, let's get um real quick. We're going to close with this one. All right, quoted it earlier, but I'm going to close with it. I'm going to read um, verse 3, and then I'm going to read down to verse 4, man, because it's going into, here it is, as we read in um, uh, Second Thessalonians, this devil uh, opposed, uh, uh, exalted himself as if he is the most high, man. And with him having that stupidity mind frame and most of our people trusting in him, guess what? You become blinded of knowing who your damn enemy is, man. All right? Now, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. Because it's knowledge, truth, and wisdom, and this understanding is out here, man, for you to get freely, man. All right? Our apostles and our elders and sincere brothers, man, we're not out here charging you for uh, uh, breakdowns. All we're charging you is, is time, man. Open up your ears, man. Open up your eyes, man. Open up your notebook and take notes and then go look it up, man. All we're charging you is time, which in, which you niggas have, man. Niggas can't say, oh, I don't got time for it because you make time for what you need to make time for. You make time to go feed your damn face. You make time to go chase some box. You make time to go make money. When Esau tell you it's time for you to clock in, you're clocking in. So it's no such thing as, oh, I don't have no damn time, man. All right? Because, hey, when all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble uh, come is on the scene, man, guess what? You're going to have time for that, man. <laughs> hey, 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 you ain't going to have nothing but time for that, man. 
All right, and then you're gonna be trying to seek for the, the prophets of the Lord, and guess what? You're not gonna be able to find them, man, because you had that stupidity mind frame. Oh, I don't got time, or I'll get to it later, man. Pretty much in that spirit of Sirach 5 and 7, where it says, uh, make notarian to turn to the Lord. You how about your Malachi, man? Because when that sudden destruction comes, man, it's gonna be way too it's gonna be far too late then, man. All right. Now, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost. And whom the God, lowercase g, God, the power of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. All right. Esau, man, he's blinding the minds of you people going back to, hey, you become, uh, uh, Satan has taken advantage of you, man. All right. Hey, you chose uh, 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 to trust in man instead of trusting in the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, man. All right. So this is, uh, you, you chose to trust in the ways of this, uh, you drunk, get drunk off the philosophies of the ways of this, of this world, man. All right, which is a hey, which has caused our people to err, man, not knowing the scriptures, man. All right, now Second Corinthians four and four says, "In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine upon them." All right, so unless hey, your ears were open and your eyes were open to get this truth, man, then you're going to be blinded, man. All right. You're going. You're blinded by by Esau and and, and 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 governed by the mentality that this devil has put in your goddamn face, man. All right. And the only way you're going to escape that blindness is if the light of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, this glorious gospel, is 100% true, shall shine upon you, man. Pretty much, if you take heed hey, to the to the uh, elders and apostles and the prophets on the highways and byways, the, the true prophets of the Lord, man. All right. Here at Great Millstone, man, that's giving you the 100% truth and not holding back on anything, man. All right, so um, hey, with that being said, man, hey, this is not time to be goddamn uh 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 hitting the snooze button, you know, uh feeling like you got time. All right, because see, that's that's what's gonna gonna fuck a lot of you uh Negro Latinos and Native Americans up because you see the prophets on the highways and byways, you see our elders and our apostles, man. Hell, they've been out there for going on damn decades now, man. All right, going on decades since what? 19 uh not now they've been on the highways and byways since the 19 uh 19 what 70s or uh, of that nature man all right but being on the internet since 2007 man all right so they've been on it over a decade man so there's no excuse man and now you got the, the camps popping up uh, uh nationwide man nationwide worldwide man so it's not going to be any, any excuse man all right so um with that being said, man, is is is, is now is the time to return to your heavenly uh, power, your Howard Bashir Malshai, before it's too late, man. All right, because this is not your rest, and 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 trust me, man, you don't want to be destroyed here, man. But hey, at the end of the day, hey, the Lord has mercy on he who he wants to have mercy on, and the Lord is going to destroy who he want to destroy, man. This is why, hey, with fear and trembling, we persuade men, man. This is why, hey. A hey, hey, why you have men on the highways and byways a hey, trying to sort out our own salvation, man. Because we can't get saved off of anyone else's works, man. We gotta be accountable as the scripture say. We gotta give accountability for what we did in this body, whether it's good or bad, man. Alright. So with that being said, I'm gonna close out by saying call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful, elected brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.